Hey, what's going on, you guys? Mana843 here, bringing you a review on the Beats by Dr. Dre Studio uh, headphones. These are the revised non-monster ones, as you can see right here. No monster on the case right there. And just says, and on the box, there's no monster labeling or anything like that. I can actually make. Let me grab that quick. As you can see, no monster labeling on it, no monster uh, um, label on the headset itself. And since I did not do an unboxing with these, I know this is just a review, but I'll show you quickly what comes inside the box since I have it right here. Uh, so right here is obviously the case and the headphones. And then over here, you get all your pamphlets and stuff. So this is like a manual, or a, not a manual, but a guide to just show you like all the other types of headphones. So nothing too special. Just shows you what they got. Uh, you get a Beats sticker, some Beats by Dre stuff. You get warranty info, studio user guide, and you get a Beats cleaning cloth. Which is a uh, nice feature since these do uh, capture my, um, fingerprints as it is the glossy black. You get one straight cable with a right um, angle connector. And as you can see, no monster branding on it. It says all beats. Looks very nice. It's all wrapped up in Velcro. And then you get another one with an inline mic that works for Apple products. And then you get a quarter inch adapter. This is for like mixers and studio monitoring and for like professional audio devices and stuff, which is nice to have. Uh, no airline adapter. And then right here you get two uh, Duracell AAAs for, to uh, power the active noise canceling feature. So that's what you get inside the box. It is a very nice, uh, nicely presented box. And this is the outside. No picture of Dre on it anymore, just a picture of the headphones. Just tells you a little bit about the headphones and stuff. And then that's the, talking about the inline mic right there. So nothing too special. But uh, okay, so let's get into the re review. So that was, I guess, a quick kind of unboxing. But um, let's see if I can get this on here. There we go. Put that off to the side. So here's the case. It is a ni pretty nice hard case. Um, that seems pretty durable. It does have a little bit of give. You have the Beats logo embedded in it right there, which looks pretty nice. You have this clip here for clipping it onto backpacks and stuff. It's a pretty nice clip. And then you have the zipper that I showed earlier with the Beats logo on it. It's got that red trim zipper, which looks pretty nice. Pretty nice accent. So let's open these up. Opens up like a clamshell. And so here are the Beats Studios. Come back to these in a second. Here is the inline mic cable that I was talking about earlier. And this is a little pouch for putting in your accessories. So that's a nice little feature. Take a quick look at this cable. So same as the other cable, it's got that uh, right angle connector, nice and durable, a uh, lot less chance to fray, but it's got the inline mic on it that works for iPod devices, and then you're playing pause and uh, for calling and stuff, it'll work on Android phones, which is kind of nice, but only the volume up and down will work on um, iPhone, iPod, and iPad, which I do have an iPad, so, um, and then you can see beasts on the bottom right there. And then a Beats logo on the back with the microphone. The cables are pretty nice. Uh, they do feel pretty good and they don't tangle, which is a nice thing. There's a straight jack for going into the headphone itself. It says Beats. Okay, so let's take a look at the headphones. Put this all away. So here are the headphones themselves. Uh, they do fold off, which is nice for the portability. So you just fold them out here. Uh, they are very nice looking, but as you can see, they are fingerprint magnets. I've only had these for, what, two days? 
and they are just covered in fingerprints. And, um, which, you know, is a downside, but, you know, you can overlook it. They do uh, include the cleaning cloth, so you can clean them up and stuff. Uh, this is your, uh, this is your uh, left side ear cup. And this is your battery compartment. As you can see, they have those two little notches there. So you just, that's for helping you grip it. So you turn it, and there's your battery compartment. And those are the two Duracell triple A's that are included. This um, powers the noise cancellation and the amplifier and the handphone, which is um, kind of a neat feature. As you can see, there's no monster labeling. It's all the, now it's just Beats by Dre and it says Studio on it. Looks pretty nice. Okay, on the right side is your mute button. This is a pretty neat feature. Push it in and it stops the noise cancellation and the music which is like if someone is coming up to talk to you, you just push that in um, and you don't have to take them off. There is your power switch and you have to have um, it on for the headphones to work which is a downside. As you can see it lights up there because if your batteries die then the headphones don't work which is a really big downside because um, some other headphones do allow you to use it even with batteries dead and when the batteries are getting low they do sound uh, very crappy uh, build quality they're mostly made out of plastic which is uh, not the best thing uh, if I shake it you can kinda hear it just kinda flop around I mean that is I guess this just hitting each other but it's still I mean it's plastic but it's a it's a thicker plastic definitely definitely a thicker plastic as you can see I can still bend it a bit and stuff I mean I don't want to bend it too much but there are definitely better headphones with um, better build quality. Sorry about that, my camera stopped, but I was talking about comfortability, and these are super comfortable. They have these super soft ear pads, and they are just so comfortable. I mean, look at that, they're super plush, and they do go over your ear, they just snug your ear in there. The headband is super padded, and it's super comfortable. And that's why I love these headphones. They're super comfortable and they adjust to your head. They got the nice band with the uh, aluminum there to reinforce the headband, which is pretty nice. And then you can see on the bottom here, there's the slot for um, uh, hooking up your cable. Okay, and um, at the top here it says Beats by Dr. Dre. Right here on the Beats logo, it's brushed aluminum. It looks pretty good. I mean, you can't argue. These are some of the better looking headphones on the market. They just look good. I mean, it's hard to argue. They do look pretty sexy. And um, that's a good thing. So, um, sound quality. Most people are going to argue with these that they don't sound too good. And, I mean... They're definitely, like, there's better headphones for the money out there, and I know that. I'm I'm an audio guy. I understand. I know that there's Sennheiser, and there's Bose. Well, I mean, Bose is still pricey, but they are better than these. Uh, Sennheiser, Audio Technica, like, the ATH M50s are a great set of headphones for the price compared to these, but, I mean, you're really paying for the name on these, but you gotta love the styling uh, of them. But the sound quality, I mean, it's, it's really not that bad it depends on what kind of music you listen to and I do listen to hip-hop and rap and these are what that are for I mean that's what they're focused on uh, they have that big uh, bass and they do really kick out so that's uh, a pretty neat thing um, I mean overall sound quality yes there is much better headphones for much less money and, I mean, I agree with myself that these are not worth $300. Uh, basically, none of the artist's headphones are worth their price. You're just paying for name. But, oh well, they do look pretty good, you know, when you give it a wipe down. Let me see if I can wipe down the top of the headband there. Yeah, so I wiped that down a bit. As you can see, they do look pretty good. Uh, but you're super comfortable, and yeah, so um, let's take a listen to them real quick. I actually have 
a Beats audio phone. I have the HTC One X that's got that Beats audio. So we're gonna plug that in here and we're gonna play some music. See how it sounds. Now, one thing you have to deal with these headphones and you have to consider when you're buying them is the sound leakage. They leak so bad at like 50% in a quiet room, you can hear, uh, your neighbor can hear your lyrics and stuff. And that's what's a really big downside with these headphones is they leak so bad. And, um, it does suck. Um, we're going to play a song here, but we're going to play it quiet so we don't get copyright issues. I'm not going to play it for long either. I'm just going to play like a little demo. So you have to switch them on. So yeah, switch it to the light comes on. Make sure your cable's plugged in. Okay, so we're gonna play a song here. And as you can see, Beats Audio pops up on my phone, and then I can decide whether I want to turn it on or off. Which is kind of a neat thing. And then as you can see, look at the volume rate. If you can focus in on that. As you can see, that's about 50%. And I mean, I can hear him fine. Now, if I put my hands over him, you can still hear him. Now, at 50, now at um, 100%, these are uh, leaking really bad. Which just really does suck. And I'm going to put it at 100% for just a second. Okay, so shut that off. As you can see, that's pretty loud, and it really doesn't sound too different with your hands on it. I can actually do that again. As you can see. So, uh, YouTube, please don't take that down. I only play it like a couple seconds. Um, but, uh, yeah, they leak really bad, and that's a huge downside of them. But oh well, you just got to consider that when buying these, uh, whether where you're going to use them and how you're going to use them. But uh, oh well. And then you, ha you do have that functional thing here that allows you to just shut everything off. So it shuts off the noise cancellation and the music when you push this down and hold it. And as soon as you let go, it starts playing again. Uh, the AAA thing is annoying because you do have to have the batteries in uh, for it to play. Which is a kind of a downside. I wish you would, you didn't need the batteries for them to play at least. But uh, you just got to deal with it. And overall, the headphones are pretty good. Uh, I do like the style of them. It's kind of hard to argue with the style. Uh, they just look good with that uh, glossy finish. But it is a fingerprint magnet, which is a big, big, big downside. Uh, this review has been pretty long, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, but that has been my review on the Beats by Dr. Dre Studio Headphones. Are they worth $300? No way. Not at all. They're maybe worth $150 to $200. Um, maybe less. But, uh, I, you know, you're paying for the name. And I do like them. I do like it, you know, because I do listen to hip-hop and rap. And that's what these are focused for, and they do sound good. They deliver a lot of good bass. I mean, I can still hear the highs and the mids. They still come through the headphones. And with my Beats Audio phone, if I turn Beats Audio off, they actually tones down the bass a lot, which is kind of a neat feature, because then when I click it off, the bass really comes down, and the mids and highs really start to stick out. So that's a really neat feature, and it actually makes them worth at least half of their money. So... That's been my review on the Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. I can actually pull up an email here from Beats just showing you that these are legit. As you can see uh, right here, Beats by Dr. Dre. Thanks for registra uh, registering. They're legit. So you can't say they're fake. They're not. Um, so that's been my review. Thanks for watching and peace out.